So we're going to be talking about measuring and there's a reason behind why measuring is so important when you are baking and that is because cooking and baking is a science. It needs to have exactly the right amount of ingredients, the right quantities and ratios of fat to sugar to flour in order for a cake to rise effectively. And so you need to make sure that you are measuring your ingredients carefully. Now, a scale is the best way to get this as accurate as possible because it's a it's an exact science. When you put your scale on, you can change the thing that is being weighed. So mine measures and weighs grams and kilograms, pounds and ounces, but it also, I don't need a jug or anything because it also measures milliliters, liters, and also milliliters of milk because that actually on a scale would weigh slightly different and slightly heavier than if I was weighing out water. And so all you really need if you are trying to be an accurate baker is a scale. You need to make sure, as you can see here, that whenever you put any sort of bowl or anything on top of your scale, that you are making sure that you have the right thing being weighed. So if it's grams, you have definitely have grams written on your screen and also that you have everything set to zero. So you've cancelled out the weight of your measuring bowl and then you are ready to start. However, you may find that some recipes ask you to measure in cups and you might find that they are asking for a cup of something or half a cup and you can buy in the shops a collection of cups and measuring spoons and so when you are measuring as you can see you need to make sure that you are measuring the ingredients and you are using a knife to carefully level it off because when you are using something like this it needs to be absolutely level it doesn't need to be heated um, and you don't need to pack it down because actually it should be totally level. So if you're measuring something like sugar, you just scoop it into the sugar and then you level it off and you have a perfect measurement. One thing you do need to be aware of though, which is not often known, is if you are using flour, if you dip your spoon into the flour, you are actually compacting your flour. So you need to spoon your flour directly from the tub into the measuring cup. Don't ever dig your cup into the flour because you'll find that you end up with up to 25% too much flour. So with flour, you definitely don't just scoop it and, and level it off. You have to spoon the flour from the container into your measuring cup. And those really are the two ways for measuring ingredients when you are baking. Don't forget though that with measuring cups and measuring spoons, that they should always be level.